My name is Polina, and I'm an application engineer at Amlib. In this video, I will show you how to set up two Richeros 2 receivers to work in RTK over LoRa radio. If you have just received the units and have not updated them yet, watch Richeros 2 first start video guide before we start. The link is in the description below. For a start, let me explain what RTK is. RTK is a technique that helps us to calculate the coordinates with centimeter level accuracy in real time. This technique involves using one stationary reference receiver called a base station and one moving receiver called a rover. The base receives data from satellites and transmits them together with its own position to the rover. Using this data and receiving satellite signals, the rover calculates its position with centimeter level accuracy. To set up RTK over LoRa radio, we will need two Richeros 2 units and a smartphone or a tablet with the Richeros 3 app installed. I will use the smartphone. First, we need to establish the connection between the unit and the smartphone. Short press the power button and look at the power LED to check the battery level. If it is low, charge the battery. To power up the receiver, Hold the power button for 3 seconds and wait for about 30 seconds until it is loaded. The power LEDs will stop blinking. The network LED shows that the receiver is in the hotspot mode, so we will connect to a Wi-Fi network it shares. If your receiver is in the client mode, that means it is connected to another Wi-Fi network. Just connect your smartphone to the same network as well. Now let's connect to the rich hotspot. Go to the Wi-Fi settings of your smartphone. Find the network with the name REACH and connect to it using the password Evelyn REACH. To make the whole setting up process easier, restore the unit's initial settings. Open REACH 3 and go to the settings screen. Select General Settings and tap Restore Initial Settings. Then tap the Restore Settings button. After that, change the unit's name to Reach Base. And save it. Apply a special sticker from the package on the unit. This will help you to distinguish between the rover and the base in the field. Since the new name is applied after the first reboot, let's switch off this unit. Repeat all the previous steps for the second unit. Remember to change its name to Reach Rover. At this time, you can switch on both units and connect to them using Reach U3. Let's connect to the base unit once again and open its settings. Go to the GNSS screen and check that all satellite systems are selected and the update rate is 5 Hz. After that, go to the Base Mode screen. Check that all RTCM3 messages are selected. The 1006 message is set to 0.1 Hz and the MSM4 messages are at 0.5 Hz. Then go to the Correction Output screen and check that LoRa is turned on. Make sure that the air data rate is 9.11 kB per second and keep the default frequency, the value of which is set up according to the local rules. That is all for the base at the moment. We will complete its setup later outdoors. Now it is time to check the settings on the rover. Connect to it and go to the GNSS settings. Check that kinematic positioning mode is set the update rate is 5 Hz, and all satellite systems are selected. Then go to the correction input screen and check that LoRa is turned on. Make sure that the air data rate is 9.11 kB per second and keep the default frequency, the value of which is set up according to the local rules. That is all for the rover. Turn both units off. When we configured the settings on both base and rover, we are ready to go outside to place the base and complete the setup process. Please check our next video.